Liam Angela, listen, I have a story for you about I'd like to give a quick shout out to Zola for bringing me out of the house today. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a regular Howard Hughes, you know? Except way broker and a lot more dumber. You know, I, I might isolate and piss in bottles and shit like that, but uh, I'm not designing and engineering aircrafts. I'm writing boring thick jokes. Oof. <laughs> Too soon, Howard Hughes? I guess the aviator movie didn't do very well. <laughs> yeah, boy. I kind of dug myself into a hole on that one. Oh, boy. So I don't know if you can smell me, but if you can, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm wearing Axe's new line of body spray called uh, Anarchy. It says a lot about me, you know? I'm punk rock, but I like covering up my bad hygiene with a Chief Walgreens spray. <laughs> I'm the type of guy who go join you, you know, for a riot or a protest, and uh, you know, as long as I can pick up some bitches. <laughs> I heard this guy talking the other day. He was bragging about uh, he finally fixed his truck, and he's not really good at that. And kind of the same way, I was laughing in agreement. He's like, "Man, I couldn't fix a toaster, let alone a truck, before, you know." And, and, and yeah, I kind of agree with him, but I'm like, "Who the fuck knows how to fix a toaster?" There's like this one guy I knew in my small town I grew up in who, who could probably, you know, he fixed like appliances and had like a TV repair shop, but he died 15 years ago. And TV repair shops died out like 115 years ago. You might be able to take it to Geek Squad, but there's no hot coils on a fucking toaster, or, you know, a laptop, you know? I don't even know what the fuck to do with it. I have one of those faces though, you know, like uh, some people like really like, you know, my face and stuff like that, and then other people just want to punch me in it. I have a lot of experiences like that. I also have one of those faces where, uh, you know, people think I look like somebody else. It's like always someone that, somebody said like Tebow while I was bicycling one day. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> but uh, uh, the other day, uh, this girl's like, uh, you know, he looks just like Bradley Cooper. I'm like, all right, you know, that's a handsome fella. I can go with that one. Later on that same night, another woman comes up to me and she's like, oh my God, you look just like that guy from The Hangover. I'm like, all right, yeah, Bradley Cooper, right? I just heard that earlier. She's like, no, the fat guy with the satchel. <laughs> Christ. So, uh, yeah, I was doing coin, uh, laundry at one of those uh, 24-hour coin laundry places, and uh, this is in Sarasota, so uh, it's right next to this uh, bar called the Rendezvous Lounge, and this place is a shithole. I, I don't know how I can describe it besides, uh, picture a Walmart surrounded by a thousand trailer parks. And then inside of that Walmart is a bar, and that's the Rendezvous Lounge. <laughs> so I'm doing laundry, it's like 11 o'clock at night, and uh, this dude comes in, he doesn't have a shirt on, he's like, dig, like looking through all the dryers, I'm the only one in there besides him. And he's just looking through all the dryers, just opening doors like a madman. And then he's looking at me like, like I'm, you know, like he's fucking crazy, which he is. And he's just like, hey man, you got a fucking shirt I can borrow? <laughs> Trying to co score some coke at the rendezvous next door. They won't let me in without a shirt on. Wow, even that place has standards. All right. But they're moving on up. So, you know, I thought to myself, what would Jesus do? And I gave a shirt to him, you know? I think that's a verse in the Bible, like, uh, let ye who live without t-shirts score his own blow or something like that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm up here though, you know, so many people that I meet are way funnier than I am. I was talking to this bartender the other day, she was complaining about her teenage daughter. I'm like, yeah, man, that's some terrible things you're saying about her, you know, you gotta love her unconditionally, right? You know, that's your own daughter. And she said, no. That's the worst thing that's ever come out of my pussy. 
Yeah, that's what I thought, you know? <laughs> but it got me thinking. If the miracle of human life is the worst thing that come out of your pussy, there must be some amazing things that come out of that. I don't know, a rainbow? A pot of gold? A penny with Lincoln's head facing up? I don't know anything better than that awful daughter. All right, thanks guys, I'm Blake. I had an awesome kit, but you know, it wasn't rainbows or anything like that.